Good day, people. You're watching educational video by Vlad. It will be dedicated to nuclear power and it is main uses. So, there are two main uses of nuclear energy. For the first one, which is a commercial one, heat is transferred into electrical energy and is then used for powering human-made structures. For the second one, heat is used to produce weapons of mass destruction, which are commonly referred as to nuclear or atomic weapons. So, the question is, where does the energy come from? There are two main types of nuclear reactions, fission and fusion. For the fission, we have one big atom, such as uranium-235, and we bombard it with a neutron. And as a result of that, we get uranium-236, which is unstable and it decays into two smaller atoms. They are in this case krypton and barium. As a result of the decay, it also produces free neutrons and a tremendous amount of energy, which is released as heat. There is also fusion, where there are two small atoms, such as deuterium and tritium. They are collapsed, and as a result of this collapsement, they release a tremendous amount of energy. They produce a helium atom and they release one neutron. So, the question is, how is energy accumulated if in both cases it is produced as heat? So, the most common type of the reactor is called pressurized washer reactor, and a nuclear reaction happens in this area. And, as we learned, it produces a lot of heat. And then there is water that is enclosed in this area, and it floats in that direction, and it absorbs the heat that is produced from the reaction. But this water does not boil, because it is under high pressure, and the pressure prevents it from turning into steam. Then there is also water that is enclosed in this area, and it floats near this water, and in here the heat is transferred from the water inside the core into the water inside this pipe. And then the water boils and turns into steam, which then goes in that direction and rotates this turbine. And the rotation of the turbine produces electrical current, which is then used for powering of the human cities. Then the steam that was used for rotation of the turbine is cooled down by the water from condenser. And the water from condenser comes from a lake or ocean or sea. Then when the water is cooled down, it returns into the cycle and goes in that direction again. So, should we use nuclear energy? There is a lot of controversy around nuclear reactions, especially after the events that happened in Fukushima and Chernobyl. And this presentation will provide you with two benefits and two disadvantages of nuclear reactions use. So let's start with advantages. That may be a surprise, but nuclear reactors actually save lives. Following the research conducted by NASA from 1971 to 2009, nuclear reactors have saved as much as 1,800,000 lives that could have been gone because of the use of fossil fuels. And the second advantage of nuclear reactors is also closely related to fossil fuels. The problem with them is that they release a lot of pollutants into our atmosphere that cause some things like greenhouse effect, which we as a human race do not want our planet to have. Nuclear reactors, on the other hand, do not release gas into an atmosphere. There are, of course, nuclear wastes, but they are stored and deal almost no damage to the environment. And then, as to disadvantages, there is nuclear waste, which is a big problem, considering that it can potentially damage the environment. And out of all the countries that possess nuclear weapons, only Finland is concerned with the cycle of the nuclear waste. 
but this problem can be omitted if the main type of reactors that is used would not be based on fission but on fusion because as we learned during fusion no waste is produced only clean energy and helium atoms the second disadvantage of nuclear energy is that the industry is closely related to the production of weapons and the further we develop in the nuclear industry the more there is a chance of a production of a weapon that will eventually kill us and while the presentation is coming to its end the question remains should we use nuclear energy more than we use it today and for the unanswered questions, I would like to mention that the presentation did not talk about other types of nuclear reactors apart from the pressurized water reactor. Also, the example given for fission reaction was working with uranium-235, while the reactions that can be used in nuclear reactors. So, thank you for watching. Until next time!